Budapest, the capital of Hungary, is a stunning city with a rich history and culture. Whether you are looking for historical sites, relaxing spas, lively nightlife, or delicious cuisine, Budapest has something for everyone. One of the most iconic landmarks in Budapest is the Hungarian Parliament Building, a magnificent example of Gothic Revival architecture. You can admire its exterior from the Danube River or join a guided tour to see its lavish interior. I had been meaning for a long time to write something about those fanciers who took my pigeon career to the next level either by giving me or pigeons or useful advice. The first was my Uncle Winkler, the one who introduced me to the secrets of the pigeon sport from an early age. But a pigeon fancier who deserves an even bigger space in the history of the racing pigeon sport here is Alphonse Anker. I didn't get any pigeons or advice from him, but I could learn a lot by reading the many articles he published, and last but not least by his book, The Flying Crossword Puzzle. I don't think Alphonse needs much introduction to the racing pigeon fanciers, but I am going to say a few words about this giant of racing pigeon genetics. Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to meet this pigeon fancier, who managed to bring and cultivate our hobby to a scientific level. Unfortunately, I don't have any pigeons that come directly from him, but the pedigree of the dam of my champion pigeon is a great-grandfather, who comes from Anchor himself. Stephen Van Bremen is a well-respected pigeon enthusiast and has written several books about racing pigeons. He was fortunate to meet the professor who wrote about the inbreeding process and also created a process of inbreeding that Stephen followed during his pigeon career. Although I didn't collect many personal details about him, but I can share with you the information about the professor. In breeding and hybridizing pigs, he developed a new method, which was followed by many other zoo technicians worldwide. In 1976, he received the Iatvos Prize from the Hungarian Ministry of Agriculture for outstanding achievements in the development of the Kahib pig. According to his friends, well-documented scientists, he had an extraordinary perceptiveness and a particularly good memory, remembering in detail and decades later all the characteristics of the breeding animals with which he worked, which garnered international admiration and appreciation. But the dearest of all animals to him were the homing pigeons, a passion he had been committed to from an early age. Professor Alphonse Anker Professor Anker was born in 1925 in Komarum, Hungary. He came from a family with great traditions in horse breeding. From his youth, he distinguished himself by telling all kinds of stories with great dedication. He was passionate about breeding and improving the qualities of pigeons, horses and all kinds of other animals. In 1962, he was asked to join the Kaposver Agricultural College as a researcher without ever having obtained a higher education degree in agriculture. This was a special recognition of his great gifts and merits. In this capacity, as a scientific researcher, he participated, for example, in the Conference of Animal Geneticists in Berlin in 1969. He also ran a fairly important publishing house. Anker's most important work was his book The Flying Crossword Puzzle published in 1971. It's a book about pigeons, but not only that. I am convinced that a real pigeon fancier, if he is going to read this pigeon Bible, cannot stop reading until he has devoured the last page. It is a true demonstration of the art of animal breeding, written in a literary, and yet appealing language to everyone. This book has been translated and published in several languages, including, as far as I know, Romanian, German, English, Dutch, and Japanese. So countless pigeon fanciers have already read this work. Of all the pigeon books, this one is by far the most interesting for the fanciers. As a token of special appreciation, the bust of this brilliant man was unveiled at the faculty in Kaposver in 2001. Pigeon Career Katek Anchor Combination, start in 1947. For almost 27 years, Alphonse and Carl have partnered up. In Budapest their pigeons are being raced under the name Katek Anchor. However, the fanciers know them as Anchor Katek from Kaposver where Alphonse takes care of the breeding part. Carl loves to fly with the pigeons. Alphonse supplies him with youngsters from his breeding pairs in Kaposver every year. 
The pigeons from Achilles from Lead and Conipus from Middle Harness were the last new introductions to the breeding loft. The Leas pigeons showed themselves immediately and raced very well up to 400 kilometers. The art and strain is still being tested. They are pigeons for the long distances and with these kind of pigeons you just have to have some more patience. Jan Ertz brought him into contact with his friend, Jeff Simmons of Gent, and got pigeons from him in 1957. They fly very well over all Hungary. Later came pigeons from Arcel Desmet of Wergem. In 1969, pigeons were introduced from Desmet Methods and De Bear Brothers of Nokir. Alphonse rented a barn from his friend who also works at pig breeding farm in Kahibe, where his breeding pigeons have an abundance of light, air and space. He gave his racing pigeons to a friend, who races with them. Alphonse was deeply impressed by the black fighters of Lias when he was in 1971 on a pigeon holiday in Belgium. Then he immediately brought youngsters from the best back to Kaposver. Youngsters from the crack, from the bandit and from the lubas, their youngsters fly very well up to 400 kilometers. Alphonse tries to isolate their quality through his breeding methods, the sheer speed for which they are so well known. National Champion From 1965 to 1969, Alphonse was the first champion of his club, and also a provincial champion. At national level, he finished 14th in 1965, and in 1966, he finished 4th. In 1967, there was no fancier in the whole of Hungary who could stand in his shadow, 5th in the sprint, 15th in the middle distance, and 4th in the long distance. He also became general Hungarian champion. I noted the best results in the extreme long distance races where all fanciers meet. Cheska Lipa, 2nd. 3rd, 14th against 9,062 pigeons. Braun, 16th against 11,558 pigeons. Cheska Lipa, 2nd against 9,074 pigeons. There is one comment to be made. There are fanciers whose pigeons fly 250 to 350 kilometers less than the pigeons from Alphones. Indeed three first class results in a super year. Thank you for watching. Until next time.